Once upon a time, in a beautiful garden, there lived an ant and a grasshopper. The ant lived with its large family below the ground, and the grasshopper lived in a tree trunk nearby. The grasshopper jumped and played all day. It ate the sweet leaves and flowers from the garden. His days were spent enjoying the sun and playing. The ant, however, spent most of its time gathering food for its family. It occasionally stopped by to spend some time with the grasshopper. The season started to change and the sunlight got weaker. One day, not enjoying playing by himself, the grasshopper stopped the ant and said, My friend, why don't you play with me all day today? You seem to be spending less and less time with me as the weather gets colder. I want us to play around the garden like we do in the summer. It would be a lot of fun. You can invite your friends too. The ant politely declined and went about carrying the food she had gathered to its home under the ground. Each day, the grasshopper stopped the ant and begged her to play with him, and the ant politely declined each day. Unhappy, one day the grasshopper stood in the way, blocking the ant completely. Seeing this, the ant said to the grasshopper, My green friend, you are very, you are a very happy creature. I would love to play with you like we do in the summer, but I need to gather a lot of food for my family so we can survive the winter. I suggest you hurry up and do the same else you may not have anything to eat. What say you, my jumpy friend? No way, Ant. There is so much food around us. I won't waste a single minute gathering anything. I just want to play around as long as I can. Why worry about food? Come play with me. The ant shook her head in disbelief and declined the offer. Soon, the winter frost arrived. The leaves and flowers were destroyed and fell to the ground. Cold winds and snow made staying out impossible. The ant and her family spent their time cozy and protected below the ground with a lot of food to last the winter. The grasshopper on the other hand starved to death, not having collected any food and unable to go out in the snow. On his last breath, he wished he had listened to his friend and collected food for the winter. So, what is the moral from this story? This story teaches us to prepare in advance for times of need. Another lesson we can learn is that we should not spend all our time playing or wasting away chances to prepare for the future.